Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we are going to talk about heat transfer. Before we discuss heat transfer, let's define first heat. So what is heat? Heat is a form of energy that can be transferred from one object to another or even created expense of the loss of other form of energy. Now imagine you have a pot full of water and you put the pot on top of the stove. Now the pot becomes hot and as the time goes by, the water began boiling. The stove produces fire and the energy formed in the fire was then transferred to the pot. That's why the pot becomes hot and also because of that energy transfer, the water starts to boil. That process is called the heat transfer. There are three forms of heat transfer. The conduction, convection, and the radiation. When heating a pot full of water, all three forms of heat transfer are taking place. Conduction takes place with the transfer of heat from the stove to the pot. The water boils by the process of convection. And the heat from the flame radiates in all directions. But what are conduction, convection, and radiation? Let's discuss first the conduction. Conduction is the process in which the transfer of heat takes place between objects by direct contact. The key of conduction is direct contact. Notice that the pan is in direct contact with the fire. The energy from the pan to the egg is transferred in a process of conduction as well as the energy of the pot to the rice. Notice that the egg is in direct contact with the pan and the rice is also in direct contact with the pot. So now let's go to the convection. Convection is the transfer of heat by the movement of fluid. Hot beverages or hot coffee, to be specific, is another example of convection. You know why? It is because the steam coming out of hot coffee in the form of warm air rises because of the heat of the fluid. Last form of heat transfer is the radiation. Radiation is a transfer of energy from its origin to the surroundings. The most common example of heat transfer by radiation can be felt every day. It is the sunlight. Like the alligators and the lizards, they use the radiation from the sun to warm their bodies. There are also radiations that are difficult to feel compared to the sun because of the lower differences in the temperature between the source and the object. One example is the radiation produces in our mobile phones. We cannot see it nor feel it, but the radiation is very, very dangerous to our body. So that's the concept of heat transfer and the three forms of heat transfer. Now, I will flash some pictures or situations and try to answer what form of heat transfer it uses. What form of heat transfer is used when ironing clothes? What is your answer? Yes, it is conduction, correct. Flat iron produces heat and then transfers the heat to the clothes in a process of conduction. Now another question, what form of heat transfer is used to boil the soup? Convection, correct. The soup boils because of the transfer of heat from the fire and pot to the soup and this process is called convection. Last question. It is sunny day and you're playing outside. Suddenly, you feel that your skin becomes hot. How does this happen? That's right. It happened because the heat from sunlight transfers to your body in a process of radiation. So that's it guys. I hope you learned a lot about the concept of heat transfer. You can also watch other video tutorials here on the channel. Once again, this is Easy Engineering. We make engineering topics easy and fun for you. 